welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 4.32 which is again related to the previous questions but now here we have to plot the table which is in the which is for the probability function okay so let us go through the statement of it in exercise 3.13 on page 92 the distribution of the number of imperfections per 10 meters of synthetic fabric is given by this table okay so all the values of x and the corresponding probability has been given so what do we have to do in part a we have to plot the probability function in b we have to find the expected number of imperfections or e of x and in part c we have to find e of x square okay so let me start it and in solving part a of my question okay as it is now a table it is very easy for us to plot it so now let me plot it here okay let me see that how can i plot it here so let me have here this one okay this is x and this is f of x okay now the first value here is zero then one two three and up to four okay so let me use another color this is blue for the bars so for zero we have 0 0.41 so let me have here 0 0.41 here this is 0 0.41 and let me start it from zero up to one okay so this is here 0 0.1 and for one we have 0 0.37 so 0 0.3 will be somehow here so let me have here and it will be from here to here so this is what 0 0.37 okay for 3 we have 0 0.16 and 0 0.16 will be somehow here so 0 0.16 will be from here to here this is this is for this for 3 we have 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 will be somehow here okay so let me have it here for 0 0.05 and for 4 we have what 0 0.01 okay so this is what this is 0 0.01 and it will be somehow here so it will be for this one okay so now we have this uh, graph in order to see it correctly what do we have to do i have to point these values here now okay so these are all the values which we have to point now so now we have here this is zero this is one this is two this is three this is four now you can see that all these values which are here corresponds with the values which are now better visible to you okay previous was also good but in order to see them in a better manner this is what we have to use in these type of charts okay uh, in many questions and in many places this zero is also called one this is two and so on that is also correct but for those we have to do what we have to rescale them this should be one this is two this is three this is four and then this is five okay so therefore i am not using that convention mention but i have employed this one which i have shown to you guys okay so this is what we have now uh, to find the expected number of imperfections what do we have to do here we have quest part b of my question and to find the value of e of x what do we have to do here we have to multiply each value of x with the f of x okay so let me take these values so 0 is for x and 0 0.41 is for f of x so this will be x1 f of x1 plus x2 f of x2 plus x3 f of x3 and also plus x4 f of x4 okay and also this is x5 so we have to have here x5 f of x5 okay so let me put these values here for x1 we have 0 while for f of x1 we have 0 0.41 for x2 we have 1 multiplied by 0 0.37 for x3 we have 2 multiplied by f of x of 3 this is what uh, this is 0 0.16 okay plus x4 which is uh, 3 multiplied by f of x4 which is 0 0.05 and plus x5 which is 4 
and multiplied by f of x5 which is 0 0.5 zero one okay when i will add them together what will be the answer the answer of it will be 0 0.88 and that is what that is the solution for part b of my question okay so this is what this is part b of my question now in part c we have to find what we have to find e of x square and that is very easy what do we have to do we have to instead of using the x we have to use x square okay and then f of x similarly here what we will have here as we have seen here here we will have x1 square f of x1 plus x2 square f of x2 plus x3 square plus multiplied by f of x3 and plus x4 square f of x4 plus x5 square f of x5 okay why am i using x1 x2 here you can also use here x0 x1 x2 x, x3 uh, and that convention will be useful here as well but uh, as due to the values of the x1 i have been using x1 and x2 but else is up to you that whatever convention you have to write as a subscript in the values of x which is feasible to you guys okay so putting these values here here, here we will have zero square multiplied by 0 0.41 plus one square multiplied by 0 0.37 plus two square multiplied by 0 0.16 plus uh, three square multiplied by 0 0.05 plus here 4 square multiplied by 0 0.01 okay so that is what we have here now finding it out and then adding them adding them together we will get 1.62 and that is what that is the solution of part c of my question okay uh, so that's it for today uh, for the question 4.32 in which we have seen that how to find the expected value of the tabular functions and then how to find the e of x square this e of x square has other purposes as well which we will see in our upcoming videos so uh, thank you so much for your guys uh, and i will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video see you soon